Definitely. I think we definitely, I don't want to say so much have to, you know, really dwell on it, but I think we do need to, to kind of keep that in the mind. Like, you know, we kind of gave up two games at home that, you know, personally, I believe we should have won both of them. But, um, you know, we don't want to put ourselves in that position again. So it needs to be on our mind a little bit, but, you know, we need to focus on winning more than anything. One of the fun any... things about the situation is both these teams come into this game really needing it right. as far as to, to – make their case for for postseason mm -hmm. both Oklahoma State and Kansas State need this one back yeah um, you know like I said this this conference is, is a tough conference um, you don't really have games that you know you can kind of just walk into and know you know we're gonna win this one um, so I mean they're gonna want it just as bad as we do but um, the, the the blessing for us is that we're at home and you know we're coming off a really good win so we just need to capitalize off it any mm -hmm. pressure at all oh. Kidding me? Um, how could there, how could there be pressure, right? I mean, not not from a standpoint of we don't have high expectations, but at the same time, we've already proven to ourselves, which is really the only people we're trying to prove something to that we can be our best. Um, you know, everything else is you know just opportunity. Um, we have a great challenge on Wednesday in K State, who beat us. Uh, we need to avenge that. We need to play better. Uh, we need to play better at home because we haven't the last two weeks. Uh, so there's really no pressure in terms of performance. The, the pressure is now can we build on what we've done and, and be more consistent at it. You mentioned you've been in college basketball since 2000. And I know you, you've seen competitive situations. But I know you can say as a head coach, you've never seen a league as crazy as this from the head coach's chair. This, Even for the Big 12, which has been crazy competitive, this year is off the charts. Yeah, and I haven't been really exposed to as much Big 12 basketball as maybe some other people. Uh, when I played, it might have been my first couple of years in the SEC. Uh, man, I thought, wow, this is unbelievable. Kentucky was at a really high level, and Florida was really, really good. Uh, Auburn, all the teams in the old SEC West, Auburn, Alabama, LSU, everybody, everybody was good. Uh, and I see so many um, you know, resemblances from that league to now in this league. I think the key is... The other leagues have grown so much that maybe some of the, the bottom teams aren't as competitive. Um, I, I guess maybe we're the bottom of this league. I don't know. You know, it's no. Right really, now, you're not. Well, I mean, yeah, the league's really good from top yeah. to bottom. You know, and Iowa State plays really well uh, and beats OU, which you know they're really good. And I think that's the difference. Is there's no there are no games where a coach looks on a schedule and says. Okay, that's where we can get ourselves going. You know, everybody looks at the next game as an unbelievable challenge. And how do we figure out a way to win? Uh, not if we play well, we'll win. No, you can play well in this league, and it's probably the only league in the country like it. You can play really well in this league and lose.